So today we are praying a prayer of blessing. It's a prayer that helps us to understand that we are assured by God's saving work. In Psalm 20, it says, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. Yes, Lord, we just thank you for that beautiful psalm. That beautiful psalm, Lord, that helps us to remember, Lord, that you will always answer us in our time of trouble. Lord, that you will always defend us. Lord, that you will always send us help, no matter what the situation looks like. Lord, no matter what the diagnosis, Lord God, no matter what has been said, Lord, no matter what has been done, Lord God, we can always rely on you to send us help. And Lord, today we are asking for your help in so many different situations. We're asking, Lord, that you would move mightily with your hand, Lord God, and you would rescue, restore, change, and heal situations, Lord, that have become too much, too much to bear. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that our burnt sacrifices are not in vain. Lord, that you receive our burnt sacrifices, Lord. Lord, that you remember all our offerings, Lord. Lord, that not one offering goes or is forgotten by you, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you see everything that we do in the secret place. Lord, like you said in Matthew, that we're supposed to go in the quiet place, in the secret place where nobody knows. And that's how we're supposed to pray to you, Lord. And that's also how we're supposed to give, Lord. That's also how we're supposed to fast, not looking for man's accolades and man's attention but instead to go into that quiet secret place just you and us Lord and have that dialogue with you have that conversation with you be open about how we feel with you Lord we thank you for that privilege we thank you for that wonderful privilege and Lord we also thank you Lord for what you say here in verse 4 may he grant you according to your heart's desire wow Lord, we just sit on that today, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you know what our heart's desire is, Lord. Lord, that you've placed within us many desires, Lord, and you know our heart's desire. So, Lord, today we pray, Lord, that you would give us our heart's desires, Lord, and you would fulfill all your purpose in our lives. Lord, we're so truly grateful for all you do and all you are. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you save us. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we can trust in you. Lord, we will not trust in chariots <laughs> and we will not trust in horses or cars or anything else or money. But instead, we will always remember the name of the Lord our God. Yes, Lord, we will always remember your name. We will always take this time, Lord, to spend time in your presence, devoting our lives and our hearts to worshipping and praying to you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that your hand is not too short. Thank you, Lord, that we know, Lord, that you save your anointed with the saving strength of your right hand, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that today you're answering many prayers, Lord. And Lord, you're also working behind the scenes, Lord, to help each heart's desire be fulfilled. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.